and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 353. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and today is a very special day because, well, the MBS show is three years, no, not three, seven years old, or uh, it's been around for seven years now. Started in 25th February of 2012, yeah, I think so. Uh, 12 to the now I'm just gonna say 12 yes <laughs> math's bad I should have done my research beforehand but yes um, we've been around for that long and wow the more I think about it right the more insane it is like from back in the days where I just been doing audio to changing over the qualities and now video that you're looking at it's kind of interesting it's kind of interesting and within all those years i've been talking about ponies and well the whole season 9 thing i'll get to it when we get into the news but as for now uh let's just say that i'm happy with how the show is and I'm very appreciative of you guys who are watching and listening to this now uh, thank you very much for well s supporting the show and enjoying the content that we produce I could have it <laughs> I could have done it without um, the previous guests and all of my amazing friends and well let's just say that this show is here because of them and you guys thank you so much so anyway uh, let's hit into the news so news time so in today's news the up and coming my little pony movie is not a prequel to sorry not a sequel to the 2017 movie which is a bummer so in the recent new york toy fair uh hasbro announced that the movie is a 3D CGI My Little Pony movie to be released in 2012 sorry 2021 um, remember that thing that I mentioned a while back or last week so this has something to do with that so now um, nothing is revealed much in this um, thing here but I did notice a tweet by someone called Sebastian Cordova. I'm not 100% sure how reliable this tweet is, but from what Spass says is that uh, the movie is kind of a standalone thing or it's going to be reintroduced, sorry, it's going to introduce um, the Generation 5 ponies and the concept about Rainbow Road Trip. Sorry. <laughs> The Rainbow Road Trip um, plot. Remember the one where, what, I think Sunset and her crew? Yeah, uh, that was a rejected movie idea to a sequel. So, this is all a lot of speculating and whatnot, and I got no idea what to say. First things first, uh, yeah, with season 9 being the last season... It's kind of strange to say that if season 9 starts like Silver Sit probably around April and this movie is going to come out in 2021 that means that the m series is going to be there for a bit like the scheduling is all over the place that's why I'm thinking my head right now Probably show would end around probably early 2020. See, see, here's the thing where that gap in between is going to have like a strange gap between uh, season 9 and the movie. So, you know what? I'm confusing myself. It's already topsy turvy. So, the point is the movie here for 2021 is going to introduce the G5 ponies and that is not bad 
Yeah, it's not bad. That's not a bad way to introduce a what you call this movie to the masses or the gen- new generation to the masses. They didn't really do that with G four because they didn't really expect anything much out of it. So with this one now, I'm just going to ponder how the reception would be. Hmm, who knows? But anywho, let's go to the next news. So, it's been confirmed that season 9 is going to be the final season. And even in this uh, Facebook post that says like season 9 will be the last season of Friendship is Magic. But this is definitely not the end for My Little Pony. In fact, it's just the beginning as we continue to develop on our new CG movie. We are dedicated to continuing our beloved stories told on multiple platforms and in the coming months we will be able to share exciting new content plan plans that promise to entertain and delight our fans in more magical ways than ever before stay tuned for updates so mm, yeah <laughs> Uh well not sure what to say. Not sure what to say. Um mm, Season nine being the last like I think I've talked about it during the past when it was rumored and stuff like I would wish that it would end on season ten so we can have have a decade of ponies. But hey, if it has to end on number nine, it's not that bad of a number. So, I'm guessing most of you at home are wondering how how my feeling are on this. And in all honesty, I have to say that I am kind of I won't say depressed. Depression is not the right word. Sad, like the show here has introduced me to a lot of people it given me the uh what you would call this drive to create a podcast it put me into so many things that i would have never or thought would be possible for me and i really appreciate the show from a humble fan who just watched the show as it is and felt like I needed to contribute to the community. And art was not really my thing. I can't sing or dance. And I couldn't really do animation. So one of the few things that I think I can do was talk. And what better way to talk about ponies than do a podcast about ponies? So, started out the project with nothing really in mind. Like, just take the standard format of a podcast and just go at it. And, well, uh, we're here now and I'm guessing it's a success. And I have to say, like, ponies have changed my life a lot. For the better, um, one of the few highlights of being on this podcast or hosting the podcast or just doing the podcast is getting to talk to the show staff, getting to know them, getting meeting them in person, like um, Heather Burkle, the colorist for the My Little Pony comics. She is an awesome gal and she's really friendly and how do I put this? She is just fun to talk to. I kn- I wish I, <laughs> I wish back then when I met her, I kind of knew what she liked, so we can talk even more. But now, like just looking at her tweets, just looking at her Tumblr posts, they're cool. They're cool, and she's a gamer. She plays the Nintendos and the Playstations. She plays Overwatch. Hey, uh, what else? Just 
regretting to talk to Larson. <laughs> Larson is how do I put this? When you think of pony people or pony creators or how do I put this? Um, people who are involved in the show. The first person that comes to mind is La- um, Lauren Faust. Yes, <laughs> then Tara Strong, John Lancy, and Larson's up there too, and. Getting to talk to Larson, getting to blame him for Twilight's wings was fun. And for my little podcast here, just him wanting to be on or just him accepting the invitation to be on, it's just a lot of fun. I mean, the podcast is... The podcast has seen a lot of people and we've talked to a lot of awesome, awesome people who have gone far uh, sorry if I'm derping I mean the audio podcast for this one is going to be uh, much cleaner I hope <laughs> but you know honestly I really appreciate everyone everyone being on here and it's just a blast this whole seven years of podcasting and nine years of ponies have been awesome Words could not put into confusing. I I don't know what to say. Just I love doing this, and I hope I could carry on. And for you who commented in the previous uh, episode, where this doesn't mean that the podcast should end because season five is on the way. Sorry, Generation 5 is on the way. And probably that would work. And you know what? Yeah. I will try and see how that goes. And if it doesn't pan out, well, there's a lot of things. I mean, uh, a lot of people really did like our podcast on Little Witch. So we'll see how that one goes. I mean, maybe we'll do a lot of other things. Maybe we'll do the whole show about animes mixing with games who knows like i like a lot of stuff and you like a lot of stuff too so let's just hope that we like the same things and we can talk about it and yeah um season nine ending <laughs> friendship magic ending in season nine it will always have a special place in my heart like this show for the ups and downs from the great episode like Lunar Eclipse to the bad ones like I don't remember. <laughs> they're all special and they're all fun. And that will always be in my memories. Yeah. So anywho, um, talking about the show people like Big Jim. Big Jim has a lot to say. Like, even, uh, sorry, how to put this? He says a bit of a teaser for season nine. Uh, there are two hundred episode guest stars, recurring, returning characters, cool characters. Like season nine is going to be a blast. Think about what season five with episode nine, the one hundred episode size of life. We we got to see a lot of things. Like oh, that's awesome. And then we got what Weird Al on the show. Lena Hall and all that stuff and uh, a few good things like for this one I, I can't imagine what they're going to do because guest stars like who could they call they they, they invited uh, Willem Shatner like that's cool uh, they invited in um, Patton Oswalt uh, spoilers I think um, Patton Oswalt might be coming back because of his t- tweet uh, so probably, um, um, oh, who was his character's name? Like, he's going to be back, I guess, one of those returning characters. So, yeah, I mean, I can't wait for this one. Season 9 is going to be awesome. And if Big Jim says so, I'm going to believe him. Like, you have set my expectations high, sir. I hope you will meet them. And with that, there's letters from the staff on Twitter and so on thanking the fan base and whatnot. Big Jim has a lot of things he has said 
So I'm just going to paraphrase some of. I'm just going to pick um, some of the shorter ones. Katie West, that voice of Spike. To though My Little Pony Friendship is Magic will no longer be airing past season nine. I want all of you to remember who you are, what you've become, and carry in your hearts the love, meaning of friendship, and be the example to yourself, your friends, and the rest of the world. You all and the show will forever live on in my heart. Oh, that's 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 awesome. <laughs> oh man, there are a few here. Pick one and yeah, just pick one. Like you know, you don't have me to. You don't need me to read it to you guys. It's in the link in the show notes. Go look and click on, because as much as we love the show. Them who created the show love it as much as we do, and oh my god, like there's so much here, there's so much to go through, and there's so much to read, and yeah, the, I I can't say anything more. Like, go ahead, read it yourself. Oh, Larson, regarding the end of My Little Pony, not sure what to say. It was the experience of a lifetime. Thank you all. Yay. <laughs> and last news. So you know, let's let's be happy. Let's be happy. So what could be happier than spending money on ponies? <laughs> so anywho, Kotobukiya, those people who did the awesome Pinkie Pie figure, Fluttershy figure, and so on. If you've bought any toys from them, you know how their works are. And now. They have show no sorry now pre-orders are available and they're shown the full color version of it. Yes, so yes, um, take a look see in the show notes. But I'm just going to highlight a few things that I see here. So uh, we get to see uh, Equestria Girl, not really Equestria Girl. This is um, uh, Magic Twy, but she's wearing glasses, so that's cool. Um, some friends like the uh, glasses I have a friend Joe you know who you are you told me that you really love this figure with the twilight and the glasses so I'm guessing you really like them glasses and then we get to see the elements of harmony this book is similar to the real one we had I'm guessing they took inspiration from that then what else yes the pony figures here I told you guys before, and I'll tell you again, this figure is similar to the movie version of Twilight. You, you know, the one where they use for the posters. I think what it was, you know, um, I think it was in the first news too. Give me a second. Let me let me open this one and can show you. Uh, where is it? Yeah, yeah, it's this one. See, see the poster here? It's similar to this one in a sense. Yeah. Um... I don't have any comparison. Anywho, so we're gonna. So they they have the pony twilight, and that looks cool. That looks awesome, and it's available for pre-order over here. And over here is the Kotobukiya website. Uh, how much is going to cost? Uh, yeah, see here. This is the one I'm talking about. <laughs> So, uh, how much is Pony going to cost? If I do remember from the previous pre-orders that we had before, it's probably going to be around a hundred dollars. And other than that, they didn't really say much. Oh, by the way, here are all of the main six and how they look like. And Fluttershy looks cute. <laughs> and surprising that Rainbow Dash has a darker tone to her skin. You would have thought that probably that would go to, I don't know, Twilight, because a lot of people drew her like that. But hey, dark skins are cute too. And we'll see how it goes, because this year, this whole figure series is awesome. But I don't have $600 to buy. <laughs> oh god. So yeah, that's the news for this week. So let's head into my 
week what have I been doing with it and whatnot. And in all honesty, work. Work has been eating up my time. Uh, nothing much to say about work. Just take photos, people, stuff. So that's about it. But I would like to give a shout out to Daniel Anthony St. Pinky and also Charlie. Thank you so much, guys, because over the weekend, they kind of hosted a pool party celebrating the 7th anniversary for Malaysia, the My Little Pony Malaysian group, and also the podcast. Uh, even though I couldn't make it, but you guys still hold the fort and pull <laughs> and bring in the fun. So thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. I mean, I'm sorry that I couldn't attend. I wish I was there and I seen photos of it. And it seems that you guys had a lot of fun with the pool party, the barbecue. And you know what? No matter how much I say, or yeah, no matter how much I say and wish I could be there. It's like what's done is done and... Like and yeah, and uh, can't say much. What's done is done, and you guys bring down the fun. As for me here, I just had to do work. On side note, um, my local game shop did a whole. Sorry, my local game shop had its anniversary for five years now running, and it was a lot of fun hanging out or just visiting the shop for a bit. And talking to my friends over there and whatnot. And a lot of people there, a lot of people. And yeah, stuff, stuff happens. Other than that, nothing much. Didn't, didn't went to see any movies. Haven't seen any new shows. Things have been a bit dull. In terms of gaming, uh, not much. Like I said, I was busy, bu busy with work. I don't know, it's probably next week I'll do something new. I'll experience the funness. Oh, um, talking about games. Two weeks from, well, by the time you hear this, it's going to be a few days. And Devil May Cry 5 will be out. So, yeah, that's going to be making me busy. <laughs> um, other than that, nothing much. Nothing much. Um, I do wish I could do more or say more, but... I haven't done anything noteworthy. Oh yeah, Battle Angel Edita, I haven't seen that one yet. Wanted to, didn't have time. In fact, money is a option too. So yeah, oh, so much to do, so much to do. But anywho, but anywho, let's wrap it up. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thebeastreachemail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the NBS show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, so, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Also, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and uh, Sapphire Heart Song, and also Totera talk about the Pony episodes, comics, movies, and also other stuff that we like to do in between. Like I mentioned before, last week we talked about Little Witch Academia. That was a lot of fun. Also learned that the director for Little Witch was a big fan of Fluttershy. So... Yeah, that that was something new. <laughs> uh, the 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 witch character was Suchi, the Filipino. She's based on Fluttershy or something like that. Yeah, so that's cool. That, that that's one. That was something from the followers or some the commenters. They mentioned that one out. So yay. And if you like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon dot com slash the MBS show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, 
I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Tristan, Starstream, Lurker Cat, Jeffrey, and also Master of Light. Thank you so much, guys. You're great. And also talking about the Patreons, um, this week's Patreon. Uh, let me double check. Oh no, if I do click that, that no, no, it won't be on screen. <laughs> I my derps. So anyway, uh, let's see. Yes, um, this week's Patreon exclusive will be, like I said, is an advanced showing of what's coming out, and yeah, we are going to do the what you call this? Oh, this one's done. So. Uh, wait, what? I'm so confused now. Oh, but anywho, um, Patreon people, you're gonna get an exclusive. It's like probably five minutes worth of content that was cut out from the YouTube version for reasons. And I've got to say that it's going to be great. Like you're gonna left your butts off because I know I did and it was fun recording it and editing it it was it was just a lot of fun it was just a lot of fun and other than that well we reach our end so if you mm, yeah thank you Zan. so anyway i have been norman sanzo and i'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the mbs show and also thank you so much for joining me on this journey of seven years talking about ponies and stuff I hope that we can do this for another few more years. Let's make it 10 or more. <laughs> anyway, see ya.